Today we're going to be writing linear equations from function notation. And we'll start today by taking a look at the line that we should have shown graphed here. If we were to organize what we see in an input output table, we would see that we have the point x is negative 4, y is 1, and another point x is negative 2, y is negative 1. If we were going to go ahead and look at the slope, we know that it's negative and it's down 1 over 1, so we have a negative 1 slope. Plugging that into our slope-intercept form of an equation, y equals mx plus b, and using the second point, x is equal to negative 2, y is equal to negative 1, we can solve this equation for b, or the y-intercept, and find that the y-intercept is negative 3. So our equation would be y equals negative x minus 3. We know by applying the vertical line test that this does represent a function. And so we can rewrite some of this information in function notation. If I were going to do this again, I might say I know that y is a function of x, so I replace the y in the equation with a new name, f of x. That's just the name of a function. I can also replace the y in my I.O. table with f of x. I still have the same ordered pairs, negative 4, 1, and negative 2, negative 1, but now I'm going to call the first column x and the second column I'm going to name by its new function name. This is the new notation we would get from the I.O. table. This tells us that this function, when evaluated where x is equal to negative 4, will have a value of 1. And if this same function is evaluated where x is negative 2, the function has a value of negative 1. And you can see that the x and y values came directly out of our table. Sometimes we're given a problem without a graph to look at. For instance, I do know I have two points here. I'm told that the function I'm looking for, when evaluated at x equals negative 1, will have a value of negative 4. And I'm also told that that same function, when evaluated when x is positive 1, will have a value of negative 3. So I would suggest that we should start by organizing this information in an input-output table like this, which will lead us to an easy evaluation of the slope. The slope, of course, would be positive 1 over 2. And I will use the y equals mx plus b formula and the first point, x is negative 1, y is negative 4, to find my y-intercept of negative 3 and a half. So I can write my equation in function format as f of x is equal to 1 half x minus 3 and 1 half. 